Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. All right, let's start off with Steve Harvey. Now, you know Steve Harvey, OG. He works with uh, Shirley Strawberry, which is one of his co-hosts. And a leak call happened. She was on the phone with her husband, her ex-husband. And I don't know how this call got leaked, but he was in jail as they were talking. The call got leaked, and this is how the call went. You know what? They have a, uh, Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room, and her own spa. And she could go in there and get um, massages every day. People come to her house and um, damn, uh, and work her out and all of that. I was like, oh god, what a dream! <laughs> Does she look old though? Does she look like she's getting old? No, I haven't seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there. No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. Damn. <laughs> Done it. No, you know he's scared. Damn, sure, right, God. What you say? You know he's scared, God. Yeah, <laughs> All of that, yeah, but, yeah. Everything. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in there, but he he brought us in, so I said okay. I mean, shouldn't she be able to sue the jail first and foremost? I think so. Because how does Me that too. call leak? Number one, but also, I mean, that's her husband. Oh, ex-husband. All right, clearly they got a close relationship. That's her confidant, clearly. And it had nothing so to do with the crime, so it shouldn't have been out at all. Yeah, and she should be able to speak to him in that way. I mean, I didn't hear her say nothing bad. The but, call wasn't that bad. No. Nah. Well, of course, the call was leaked, and uh, everybody heard it, so she then apologized to Steve Harvey live on her show. Steve, I'm going to just start by saying that um, my estranged husband is in jail, Um He's been in jail for over a year uh, since about the right after the 4th of July of 2022. And recently, some um, phone calls from last year between he and I were leaked. And uh, on those calls, you hear me saying um, you were winded going up the stairs at your home. Marjorie looks at us as the help. And right here and now, um, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said. Um, as much as I wish I could, I can't take it back. I can't. I said it. And, you know, I want to apologize. I feel terrible. I make no excuses. You know, I, I, I said what I said, and um, there's no denying it. That's interesting. I mean, I can see her apologizing for talking, you know, I, I guess his his business, but apologizing because you feel like somebody looks at you like to help is that why would i be apologizing for that because i think you look at me like the help so i'm apologizing yeah I, I guess just talking negatively about somebody that you work with and it is released i mean but she was talking is that to her talking husband negatively if i no, say that's this person feeling. looks at me like the help well, that's is, that, ooh, is that is that talking negatively about her or is that just the way I feel? I that, could be wrong about my feelings, by the way. True. But that's just the way I feel. I feel like this person looks at me like the help. Well, Steve Harvey responded to uh, the statement and the apology yesterday. She the best thing ever happened to me. I don't care what nobody said. And y'all quit talking about she was in my other marriage and ruined it. She didn't. She was nowhere around that. My marriage, I got divorced in 2005. My marriage was over when the Kings of Comedy was out. But in 2005, let me hip you to something. I had nothing. May 23rd, I lost the radio show. And May 10th, I lost the TV show. Steve Harvey had no money. Got with Marjorie again. We got together in 2006. We had nothing. She didn't marry into no lap of riches. I had nothing. When I asked her to marry me at the end of 2006, and, I, and then she said she wanted to get married in 2007, I sold it too soon. I, I got to get some stuff together. She said, what? I said, baby, I ain't really got nothing. I'm trying to build. She said, I'm going to get in there and build with you. Mm. So Steve Harvey uh, cleared that up. He said uh, when he started with his wife, he was broke. And then uh, he said he even said his accountant made a mistake and he was $22 million in the hole. Why y'all buying? Why y'all bothering Steve and Marjorie? All they do <laughs> all day is look fly on Instagram. They mind their business. Why? But, that, but, but you know what? I'm answering my own question. That's why. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> because they live in their best they life. Live in their Absolutely. best people life. High. As they should. People sitting around at home miserable and can't stand to see other people doing good. Can't stand to see other people actually enjoying themselves. So they want to try to rain on their parade. That's all that is. Right. And that that is the, that is the question I want I want to um open up the phone lines to. 800-585-1051. Now, you know, if you're in a relationship, if you, you have a husband or a wife, uh, you tend to pillow talk, right? And pillow talk can mean you're talking about a co-worker, could talk about your feelings or talk about any way that you feel. I don't even like calling this pillow talk. That's what your kind significant of other. That's your that's your mate. Like, right. you know, that the, who who else are you spilling your guts to at the end of the night? But you pillow talk to your significant other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. You, you talk. I, don't wanna, I don't like calling it pillow talk though. I just like that's your confidant. Right. That's your, you know, right. So the, talking. the question is 800-585-1051. Should the conversations you have with your spouse, your wife, your husband, should that be able to be, uh, I guess, used against you and, and affect your your job, your workplace? Because in this one, it, it definitely is. I, I, I can't see them being as cool or, or as as cool as they were before before this i mean it definitely complicates things it definitely complicates things so let's let's open up the phone lines 800-585-1051 you know sometimes when me and Charlemagne, you know discuss things at night i don't like how you're saying (laughs) this and i don't know why you're saying this in this way i guess it depends on the severity of what was said you know (laughs) right true all right so that's the let's let's have that conversation 800-585-1051 let's talk pillow talking with your spouse at night uh do you feel like, you know, that shouldn't complicate things at work? It should it be will, just though. between y'all? Whether, whether you want it to or not. Everybody has will. pillow talked at some point. They have pillow talked. The people who, who are being talked about have pillow talked. I think we just have to be a little bit more cognizant of what's said on a recorded line. All right. Pillow well, talk is going to happen. Well, let's discuss when we come back. And also, we got front page news, so don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.